Hey guys, welcome back to a little piece of Hidden Farm. It's been a while since I did an update on our greenhouse. Uh, I've been having a hard time finding the the supplies here to do the electrical for this greenhouse. And just so you know, I'm not a licensed electrician. I, I know how to wire things up, but I'm not licensed. So you don't want to really uh, copy what I do. <laughs> you want to either get a licensed electrician to do the work for you or uh, research it yourself and learn how to do it yourself. Um, around here, you can do it yourself, but you still have to get, to get a permit. Anyhow, uh, this is one inch conduit. I got fed through the walls. This one here is gonna go up here. It's gonna go up this post and across the roof up there. And that'll put some outlets up there for uh, for our heaters. Um, I know they say heat rises. I probably should have it down here, and heat, heat that way. But we're gonna try it up there. And then this one here will supply us some outlets along this ridge here all the way around to put uh, maybe some heat mats if need, if need be, or maybe hook a fan to it or lights or anything you want. It'd be nice to have some vertical outlets. Well, by the way, this one here is a 20 amp double pole. This is just a regular old 15 amp single pole. That's why there's two separates. So you need a separate breaker for each one. You need a double pole breaker for this one. Anyway, now I got to boxes I've got. They'll hold two outlets in here so you have like four spots. I'm going to put that along here around the greenhouse. I'm not going to have this all down here all glued together but from here on up I'm probably not, I'm not going to gonna glue them in case I need to change something around I can just pull them apart to glue them up and then you're gonna have to cut them and it just ends up costing you money. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and feed my 12 gauge wire into this pipe here that will go all the way down into the greenhouse to service those outlets. And this here's my ground wire to the fuse box. Eight foot rods pounded in. And here's my service line. In order to, to get the very minimal voltage drop, I had to use Pretty good size wire. Plus that had to go went aluminum because copper was very expensive. Well, anyway, let's get this wire fed through here. Inside the greenhouse, here's the wire. Okay, there it is fed through. I like to leave a little bit of slack in here just in case. All right, let's go inside and get it hooked up to the few uh, breaker panel. Copper wire here, which is the ground, to my 
crown bar here. wire hooked up for the neutral wire which is white you hook it up to the neutral bar Now the black wire here, which is hot, we'll put it into this 20 amp breaker. All right, there you go. Outlets for the greenhouse is all hooked up to a 20 amp breaker. This is a sub panel. So on the sub panel, the neutral bar and the ground bar are not bonded. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. That's why you don't see a screw through here. If I were to push that green screw through here, that would bond this neutral bar to the casing enhance goes to the grounding bar that would bond them together but in the sub panel you don't do that you take that screw out because you want to keep the neutral bar and the ground bar separate and put in a ground wire which is I believe this is four gauge ground wire and ground outside and hook it up to the uh, two or three grounding rods eight feet in the ground anyway let's go back into the greenhouse well, we're back in the greenhouse. I'm gonna Some already got it kind of prepped up here. And I'm going to put a GFC outlet in this location and then wire everything from there. That way, if anything happens down the line, it'll trip this. Okay, this little sticker on here saying that this these terminals here is for feeding additional receptacles. So, so the power feed coming in from the breaker will go into these, you know, the ground wire to the silver, hot to the copper, and bare copper ground wire goes to the green, and that'll feed the power to it, and then the power come out of this end to the other receptacles. redo the ground wire because it doesn't give you more than one connection so I had to group all the 
ground wires into one area and twist it all up and then fork them off from there. Yeah, I got some attrition tape. Probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Just take this around and cover those um, hot points there. Just a little safety measure. Installing the next run of wires for the heaters. These are 240 volts, double pull. I'm gonna go up there, put one in the heater up there, one down at the other end, both blowing towards each other. The be on a chain so it hangs down. I'm not sure how big of a chain that came with it. I may have to buy more chain so it hang down a little further. So, already got the wire pushed through into the solar building. You can see the uh, junction box right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and push this wire through here and, and push it through each pipe as I glue the pipes together. it up there with the wires Just got it bending over up to the top got my first outlet on that's a 20 amp 240 volt double pull outlet for the heaters now the put more conduit and feed the wire through all the way down there to the other end Put another outlet there on that board there.
turned on and running. Let the heat cranked up to number seven. That's about around 70 degrees, if I remember right. I have to get the instruction booklet out there for more details, but it's putting out some heat, fans running. I've got this one going too. So I'll let that run for a while and see how well it warms up this greenhouse. Says a little over 50 degrees. 